19. Better the poor whose walk is blameless than a fool whose lips are perverse. Desire without knowledge is not good. How much more will hasty feet miss the way? A person's own folly leads to their ruin, yet their heart rages against the Lord. Wealth attracts many friends, but even the closest friend of the poor person deserts themselves. A false witness will not go unpunished, and whoever pours out lies will not go free. Many curry favor with a ruler, and everyone is the friend of one who gives gifts. The poor are shunned by all their relatives. How much more do their friends avoid them? Though the poor pursue them with pleading, they are nowhere to be found. The one who gives wisdom, gets wisdom, loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished, and whoever pours out lies will perish. It is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury. How much worse for a slave to rule over princes. A person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. A king's rage is like the roar of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish child is a father's ruin, and a quarrelsome wife is like the constant dripping of a leaky roof. Houses and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness brings on deep sleep, and the shiftless go hungry. Whoever keeps commandments keeps their life, but whoever shows content for their ways will die. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Discipline your children, for in that there is hope. Do not be a willing party to their death. A hot-tempered person must pay the penalty, rescue them, and you will have to do it again. Listen to advice and accept discipline, and at the end you will be counted among the wise. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. What a person desires is unfailing love, better to be poor than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, then one rests content untouched by trouble. A sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He will not even bring it back to his mouth. Flog a mocker and the simple will learn prudence. Rebuke the discerning and they will gain knowledge. Whoever robs their father and drives out their mother is a child who brings shame and disgrace. Stop listening to instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. A corrupt witness mock mocks at justice and the mouths of the wicked gulps down evil. Penalties are prepared for mockers and beatings for the backs of fools. God has given us this ability to control our tempers, to show generosity and understanding, to make wise choices in order to avoid consequences of foolish living. Choosing wisdom does take practice and that's okay. It takes self-discipline too, and our best defense to avoid sinful behavior is to never stop listening to his instruction. So my first question for you is, are you doing something bad maybe that somebody else doesn't know about that you're hiding from other people? And the second question is, do you have that person that you can go to for accountability and encouragement when you're struggling? And are you that for somebody else? I hope this might be encouraging to you, even though it can kind of be a weird topic to discuss today, but I hope he blesses you and keeps you today as you go forward.